Determine the n behavior of the given function f of x is equal to x cubed. All right, so what they really want us to find is they want us to determine, you know, what happens to the y value here, in term, meaning the function's value. Remember, you can think of this as saying y, right, y equals. Um, as then the x value goes to uh, negative infinity, that looks like an 8, there you go, and positive infinity. All right. Now, I created this little uh, table, I guess. Bam. So there's four general cases that you have to be familiar with. All right. Now, uh, and you can kind of divide them up into two and two. Um, first, identify if your function has an even power or an odd. Okay. So in this particular case, three is odd. So what that means is that you're going to be focusing on, you know, this side. Okay. Then what you have to do is take a look at your leading coefficients value. Is it positive or negative? And if we notice, there's nothing there, so that assumes that it's positive, right? It's really a positive 1. So that leaves us now with this case, okay? So this function, this graph over here, will represent the general shape. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that it is exactly like this, but what I am guaranteeing is that on the left-hand side, it's going to trail off to negative infinity, meaning the y value, okay, the function's value. Remember, the function's value is really just the y value, right? Notice how the y, it's going down. Uh, it's going to uh, progress to negative infinity. Uh, when the x value goes to positive infinity, the y value, meaning the function's value, goes to positive infinity. Okay? So you can kind of think about it like on the left hand, you know, as you, you can write this on out, right? In terms of the end behavior, you can write out like, you know, as x approaches negative infinity, the function's value approaches negative infinity. That would be good, right? And then conversely, as x then approaches positive infinity, the uh, function's value f of x approaches also positive infinity. So this would kind of be your end behavior, okay? Because the, the behavior does depend upon, you know, what side you're talking about, whether you're going out to the left in terms of x going to negative or with x is going to positive. And you can also use the calculator if you want. You know, you can go go to y equals, you can plug in the value of your function, you know, x cubed. So raise it to the third, then hit graph. And you see how we have the general shape. See how it's going down to negative infinity here? And then it's going up to positive infinity. You can also go to your table if you wanted. You can hit second table, or second graph basically. And what you can now do is you can kind of get an idea. Look, as x is going to positive infinity, right? As you keep going down, what's happening to the y values there in blue? Where do you think they're going? They're going all the way on out to positive infinity, right? And then go back. What happens when x is now going to negative infinity? Where's y going? Looks like to negative infinity, right? Do you have to investigate every case? No, obviously not, right? You can kind of generalize. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. And if it does, help us out. Like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Take care.